Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to do a garden maintenance. I want to bring you to the journey of how I maintain my tomatoes, how I prune them and how I stake them. Uh, we always do garden maintenance quite often but this time we are almost we almost caught up with time, so many things to do and this one almost outgrew us. So what we have here is a indeterminate cherry tomato. Indeterminate means it grows for so long, it stays It'll stay for a while, it doesn't die as soon as it produces the first or second produce or within the first season. So this one can go as tall as you are able to stake it. So as, as high as your sticks can go, this tomato will go there. So what I want to show you is how to reduce the foliage. You see this one is very full, but it's still producing tomatoes nicely. Cherry tomatoes, some are even ripening, but it's very bushy. And this one is going to encourage the diseases it's going to encourage pests like you can see now we are struggling with white flies because we've not been able to put up with the maintenance so when you have when you're pruning tomatoes you need to remove one the three d's the three d's are the dead and damaged and deceased plants and um, leaves and branches and you also need to remove the the lower foliage the ones that are near the ground to avoid backsplash which also comes with diseases then the last thing you need to remove is the suckers. So today I'm going to show you the suckers, what suckers are. So when you look at this tomato, this is the main stem, the one that we've been sticking going up. This is the main stem. And this is a branch. It's like a leaf, but this is a branch. So when you look in between the main, the main, the main stem and the branch, there's something that is coming in there, like at about 45 degrees, looks like an elbow. That's a sucker and that's what you remove when you're pruning your tomatoes. Also, the next thing you remove is deceased leaves and branches like this one. You get that one out to make sure that there's airflow and uh, to stop diseases or discourage diseases. Because when it's crowded, you encourage the breeding of diseases. Also, there's another sucker here which you are going to remove. Yeah. So these ones, you see these branches are almost falling, so I'm going to stick them up. I don't have taller trees, taller sticks, so this is not going to go as far as it can. So you are going to limit it. Uh, it's growth because of our limitations, but it would have done much better. So I'm going to get strings, which I just get from my banana plant, and then I use them to, to stake my, my tomatoes. I'm just going to tie this branch over here, make sure it's growing up right. So the other way you can stake your tomatoes is by using cages. I think I've done a, a, a video on how I use cages to, to stake my tomatoes and I'm going to link it so that you can see the process of growing tomatoes all the way to the harvest. So we're also going to look out for deceased leaves and the lower ones, the lower leaves that are sick, like these ones, you just remove them. Then we'll come back and pick them up. You don't leave them there. Yeah. So if you can keep up and remove them earlier in the season, the better. For me now, I'm a bit late, but it still work. It's still better than not doing it at all. So now when you reduce the forage, the, the tomato focuses on producing more, more fruits than, than leaves and you get to get more harvest and a cleaner harvest, a healthier harvest with less diseases. We will come back and spray neem oil on these white flies. That's what we use to spray our tomatoes. And it works well. It's not, it doesn't eliminate 100% of the pest, but you get to get an harvest. And that's what, all, that's what organic gardening is all about. You win some, you lose some. It's never 100%. Because again, we don't want to kill all the insects. Because when you spray a chemical, you're going to kill everything. And then 
you will not even have the beneficial insects which you need to pollinate your tomatoes yeah so the next thing i'm going to do there are some tomatoes that are fallen here i'm also going to stake them and that will be the end of our today's garden maintenance So really, we are late. You should have you should have done this when the branches were lower. But it's better late than never. This tomato is almost flowering now. So all the deceased ones need to be very brutal with them, otherwise the disease is going to spread further. So we will try and keep up with pruning these ones until they are ready. So I'll go ahead and do all the other maintenance. But for you, I'll leave you at this point. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please remember to subscribe, like and share. I'll see you in the next one.